Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how to save all attachments to a specific folder by using save attachments as part of email automation. And after that, we will know how to know what kind of attachments we have downloaded by using an output. And after that, we will know what kind of filter we have to use to download the specific type of documents if we want to download. Now we'll start with the use case. If you see in my inbox, I'm having three mails that are all these three mails having attachments. How can I go ahead and download the attachments by using email automation? This is my use case. Okay, now let me go to your path studio. I have already created a sequence with the name of save attachments. You can see if you see to retrieve the emails from a particular server, what I have done, I have used get IMAP mail message activity. And if you see, I'm going to use message box that, you know, the number of message emails that I have read it. If you see get IMAP mail messages properties, we're going to store the messages in an output variable that is unread mails variable. Now, if you see that all the mails will be stored over here but I want to download the documents or you know the whatever the attachments that we have in the mail how can I go ahead and download that now how can I go ahead and read each and every mail by using for each activity right let me go to activities I'm going to use for each now if you see I'm going to drag and drop for each and the all the messages has been stored here in that is in unread mails, right? Now, what are the properties for? We have to change it for the for each. Go to the properties and you can see what is the type of argument we have to change it. That is system.net.mail.message. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read each and every mail from the unread mails. And after that, I'm going to save the attachments. I'm going to download the attachments. So now we are going to work with save attachments activity where we can find that you can see under app integration under app integration under mail you will have a separate one which is save attachments what it will says it will save the mail message attachment to a specific folder if the folder does not exist it will create if no folder is specified the downloads in the save that is the downloads will be saved in the project folder i will show you how it is let me drag and drop the save attachments activity onto the for each body. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties of save attachments. The first one is the input, nothing but the folder path where I want to store the document. That is nothing but where in your local where you have to store. That I will say documents or docs. What if I'm not going to be specific? What if the documents is not there. If you see over here, I don't have any kind of folder with the name of docs, correct? What will happen in that case? It will create a folder with the name of docs and then it will store all the downloads, all the documents over there. What if, if you're not going to specify anything over here, let's assume if I'm going to give it like that folder path, then it will be in the root folder here itself, it will download. But right now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give the name as docs so that it will create a folder over here and then it will go ahead and it will create the folder and then it will download all the attachments over there. Okay, now if you see the message, the message, mail message object whose attachments are to be saved. If the mail's having any attachments, then I'm going to download the attachments in the folder, right? Where I have to download, how can I go ahead? What is the thing message over here? It is nothing but the item over here, right? If you see 100 mails, I'm going to store, or uh, I'm going to read each and every item that we you know from the 100 mails so that I'm going to take the message as item. Now, the filters and the outputs, I will let you know in the same session in the next part that is you know we're having two more activities right now if you see what i'm going to do uh, after downloading after attaching i'm just going to give a message box saying that downloads has been completed after the for each okay i'm just going to show the message box download 
downloads completed. Let me go ahead, let me save the bot. Now, let me run the bot. Bot execution started. And you can see count of 100 mails that we are having three. You can see, yes, we are having three mails. Okay, click on okay. Now you can see downloads completed. Where we can find these downloads? Go to the project and you can see, I don't find any folder as of now. Let's go ahead, let me refresh the project. And you can see there's the docs. And if you open that, you can see all the attachments. What are the attachments that we have in the, you can see over here, one, two PDFs and one document and one PPT, right? You can, you can see all these things over here, right? I hope you understand how to download the attachments or to save the attachments by using save attachments activity. That is our first part, right? Now, now I will skip it to the third part. If you see, I want to filter, I want to filter which attachment that has to be there. First of all, I will go for the single type. Okay, if you observe that I'm having a lot of types of different types of documents, one is PDF, another one is docs, another one is the PPT format, right? Now I want to filter, I want to only download the documents formats. How can I go ahead and do that? Go to the save attachments, and then you can see over here, the filter, in the filter just provide what kind of extension do you require to download. I will say, Documents only I have to uh, download with the format of .docx documents. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to delete entire files over here. Let me refresh this and you can see in the docs I don't have any kind of documents. Now when I'm going to use single type, I'm just using only one kind of format to download over here, right? Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Count number of 100 mails, three, and downloads has been completed. Now let me go ahead, let me refresh once again, and you can see PDF automation in uipod.docs has been downloaded. And what about the remaining documents? I have not downloaded the remaining types of, uh, you know, documents like .pdf, .pptx, I have not downloaded. Now, if you observe only one single type that I have used, how can I go ahead if I want to download multiples? If you see over here, I have given the multiple types, right? Now, let me copy this. I will show you over here. Let me go to save attachment properties and then let me expand this three editor. Let me expand this editor and then I'm going to give the properties over here. If you see over here, dot .dox, and I'm not, if you see, I'm having P, uh, PPT also, but I don't want to use them. I'm going to delete that. Only .doc files and .pdf files I want to download, like multiple types I want to download. How can, I'm going to give in a such a way, double quotes, dot .star I have given, and .doc files, .pdf files in the brackets that I have given in the double quotes. Let me go ahead, let me click on OK. Now let me save the bot. Before that, let me clear this docs to make you understand. Let's run the bot. We can see the count of 100 mils three and all the downloads has been completed. Okay, now, now let me go to project. Let me refresh this and you can see, expand that. You can see docs as well as the PDF extension doc files only has been downloaded. If you see over here, what is the extension that we have given for the filter? .doc .pdf files. This is how we are going to save the attachments by filtering, by giving the options of filtering. Okay, now I will show you another property. How, how would we know that what kind of attachments and what are the details of the attachments that how can we go ahead and get it that? Now, if you see over here in the outputs that I'm having the attachments, right? If you see in the save attachments, I'm having the property attachments. Over here, you can get all kind of details related to the attachments. How can we go ahead and get it? First of all, set the variable by clicking on Control K. I will give it as attachment details, okay? And then I'm going to click on Enter. 
if you see the variables under variables that you know you can find it out the variable name attachment details and the variable type i numerable and you can see over here the string each and everything right now to uh, you know if i am having a single attachment no worries if i am having multiple attachments for the single mail then the it is going to be stored in the i numerable in the collection of uh, generic and then it is storing in string format now i'm going to use to get these details of these names you can see 904.pdf and you can see pdf automation dot about all these details you want to know i'm going to use once again for each activity let me drag and drop onto the panel and then from where i have to go attachment details so for a single mail i have multiple attachments or single attachment right all these details you can get it and i'm going to get it in into item now i'm going to use to display them i'm going to write it by using right line activity so how can i go ahead and get that i'm just going to simply item dot to string i'm going to uh, write it over here let me go ahead now let me run the bot if you see the output we are going to write it in the right line right for the details of the files which has been saved right now in the output file output will get all these details you can see count of 100 3 and you can see all the details what are the documents docs dot pdf under abts bill dot pdf and the pdf automation in ui pass dot docs these are all the three documents have been filtered and downloaded and saved in your local now let me go ahead let me click on okay now if you see the document has been downloaded over here by using save attachment activity and then you can see over here the filter what is the filter that we have given dot docx and dot pdf files this is how we are going to work with save attachment activity as part of email automation Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.